You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. I hope y'all all doing good in your perspective lives and everything that y'all got going on. So before I even get started, I just want to say that I hope everybody out there is doing as good as they can. The news that continues to roll out about 40 Cal is not really that good. So if it is the case, what we're hearing, I would like to send my condolences to him first and foremost. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of different alternating reports that are coming out, but I just want to wait until like everything sorts itself out, you know, but uh, as a parent, I will say that, you know, I feel like it's imperative for us to continue to open the lines of communication with our children, with our family, and just try to be as, as there for you as you can, because I tweeted yesterday that we need to start becoming our children's best friends, biggest fans. Now I feel like, like, and I feel like, you know, a lot of us may feel that we are doing great or that, you know, we're doing a good job, but there's just certain things that you just may never know. And by opening that dialogue, continuing to learn and continuing to grow and, and study your children like books, it's just my suggestion. You know, I let my daughter sometimes sit on the phone if I'm not around and she'll just, or if I'm around and she'll just ramble on for, minutes and minutes and hours about the things that she's got going on and i just let her do it sometimes i just be like word nah you bugging stop playing like sometimes that's just what they need to know that that communication is there you know and that they're able to come to you for anything you know and i'm not saying in his regard or his situation that that could have changed anything but you know when you're dealing with a situation where someone's been missing since last month and you're at 12 13 days later and the, 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 the reports are, are pointing to her taking her own life. That's that's a very sad situation. And I'm just going to um leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? Like I rock with 40 Cal from his music back in the days to his moves that he made personally. And him being in the battle rap culture. And him just being a brother. And uh, him just being a brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, I got love for him. So hopefully everything is well. Now, Geechee Gotti. Geechee Gotti. I seen the caffeine commercial. I seen what you said, and it made a lot of sense. Let me play it. I'm winning. If I don't win, there would be more shock than anything. Man, like I ain't even gonna lie to you. That shit gonna be cakewalk for me. But I got you. I, you said you said I'm winning. If I don't win, that would be more of a shock to anybody than anything. And I'm gonna totally agree with you. You have to not only win Ultimate Madness, I'm not gonna set the bar too, too, too high, but you kinda gotta win clearly. Like you have, you should win this clearly. You are head and shoulders above most of the competition that's in front of you. And I'm not saying that as in hating, cause I'm gonna just let y'all know, I don't get into my feelings. I get into these millions, millions of views. This is what I do, I don't get in my feelings. So I personally, make a good living off of talking shit like just basically getting in front of my camera and saying how i feel about battle rap and things like that so whenever someone else does it in reverse whether it's about me whether it's about our channel showtime i never get mad i don't get into my feelings i get to these millions um so geechee Gotti, what i'm saying is you kind of got to win in pretty clear it's a hundred thousand on the line and the competition is you and swamp Prep and KCJ, uh, Cortez and um, Jack Boy Main, and Drugs and Rum Nitty. Now, respectfully, I'm not hating today. I got not a single ounce of hate in my heart. You're really, as far as stature wise, you're head and shoulders above the competition. And rather, other than something completely out of this world happening, I think and I feel like to most you should be the favorite, but I'm saying that in I say that to say this a lot of a lot of there was some good star quality talent that was put in the tournament, but they lost early T top lost early to Jack Boy Maine who's a sleeper. I, I, I hope he does his thing who uh, who and who else who else you got um What else who else? Oh, so you got you got a sleeper in Jack Boy Maine and then you got uh, Twerk was on the other side. He lost. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like you kind of gotta win this by by far. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't. It really ain't no no debating or no doubt that you should be winning this. 
But like I said, we cannot get too comfortable because if you walk away, get comfortable, you know, you could potentially come back and see somebody that went past you and it only takes a MC to get a round or two to where it comes down to the fan vote. And I think that with Gigi Gotti, way too talented, and it's almost like you, you kind of got to win. Because when you look at the top performances that the other MCs have had, now Rum Nitty's had some, some, some fire. Like, like he, we, we could go, we could talk about him all day long. Uh, Jack Boy Maine, he did really good versus T Top. Swamp has had some cool performances too. He did very good versus Jerry Boy. But we talking about Gigi Gotti. There is no way, no way. I, I mean, it could pop. Like I'm not saying it can't, but for Gigi to be the face, one of the faces, probably the new face of battle rap. It is what it is. Like when you think talk about star power, you talk about his wins, you talk about like what he's done for the West Coast, his his profile. He's kind of heading clear, shoulders above to win, and then. Being an MC that could prepare fast, like I've seen him take battles in one week, in another week. He has a battle, he's averaging a battle a week for the last month, like every boom, boom, boom. Now, I would highly suggest that he slows that down because, you know, if he wins the tomorrow versus Swamp, he's going to have Prep or Casey J, and then he could potentially be in a situation where he's battling for 100 grand. Now, I want you to tell me, am I bugging? Am I bugging when I say that he kind of got to win? Like, it's almost like hand and glove fit for him to win. I don't, I think the whole tournament originally was set up for New Jersey Twerk to win because he got Casey J in the first round and they had him on that side. I th that's just how I feel, you know what I'm saying? Conspiracy theorists screaming Illuminati. Oh, fuck it, you got me. That's my conspiracy theory. I felt like it was set up for him to win. It did not happen that way. And it was set up for some of those rematches, like a Gigi Gotti versus Twerk again, because when they did have their battle, that was uh, the day after the whole situation in Atlanta with Nobs and all of that. So that battle obviously did not turn out well at all. Like, it was just a bad battle. I mean, Gigi won 3-0. I don't like taking battle. I don't like taking battles away from people that the other person didn't perform well in. Like, with the KCJ battle... KCJ won to me, but I didn't feel, I feel like even though she won, I'm not taking nothing away. It was a clear win, 3-0. She did get rattled, did get flustered. You don't want to take nothing away, but when you're going against a fully prepared dog that's going to really try to beat you, you're going to have to be on one. You can't take your foot off their neck. You can't take your foot off the gas. Like You're going to have to just shoot all the way. Uh, I know Swamp. And Gigi Gotti was just on teams. Their, their two on two versus uh, Rock and Easy the Black Captain was phenomenal. They did their numbers, but Gigi's about to turn. He's about to. He's about to turn it off on Swamp. I feel like he's about to turn. Like he's not about to take it light. Even though they was just on teams together, he's not about to take it light. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, when I look at Swamp's best performances. Be that as they may, they don't equal up to what. And the thing is, when you're dealing with battles that are uh, happening on a live, like live, like right there on the spot, it's about the the moments. It's about the punches. It's about it is what it is. Like you can't really a lot of it. Like some some niggas can take angles, but the angle shit it don't hit as hard as the punches. Like when niggas doing relevant live punches back to back to back to back. You know what I'm saying? That that you that flash is what you judge off of. Like, ooh, moments. Ooh, 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 ooh. But if Swamp can pull it out, he's gonna definitely be one that's not gonna be easy to take out. This is the biggest battle of his career. And see, the thing is, I will say this: what's left in this tournament is not the biggest battle of Gichi Gotti's career, except money-wise. Money-wise, it's the biggest. But opponents, there's no opponent in this joint that's bigger than what he could potentially be going against. He's battled bigger people than Cortez. He's battled bigger people than Rum Nitty. He's definitely battled more bigger people than Jack and Drugs. Uh, battled bigger people than Pret. Battled bigger people than Casey J. And battled bigger people than Swamp. So when you look at that, the, the, the category of names that he's already stood in front of, there's no K-Shines here. There's no Arsenals here. There's no Surfs when Surf was 
before Sue Jersey was, you know, when he had three rounds. Um, there's no, there's no Tay Rocks. There's no, like, you could look down Geechee's whole catalog. There's none of those people left. It's almost why I'm saying he kind of has to win this. Like, clearly, too. To show that you are that number one, I mean, he's already shown the last two years that he's the number one guy. But I'm just, well, the two years before Chiller did this year. But I'm just saying, to show that you are an emblem and that you one of them ones like that, you kind of got to win. I got confidence in him. I think he's going to do his thing. Uh, you know, I've been chilling. I've been playing my PS5. Yo, this, uh, this FIFA, FIFA is crazy. FIFA, FIFA is wild. Uh, I, I still rock with the 2K and Spider-Man. Spider-Man is dope too. That Miles Morales is kind of crazy. But I'm on that FIFA right now. Uh, if you want to add me on PlayStation Network, it's uh, Vada underscore Fly. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'll definitely rap with you, man. We can play some games. You know what I'm saying? I smoke people, though. Just letting you know. Don't get in your feelings. Get in the millions. Salute to every single one of y'all out there that watch this content, whether religiously or passing. Gone. Geechee, don't let us down. I'm out.